I was impressed. I don't think I won on my own. Gamora, let me win. Because she is a coward. She could not face true defeat. Don't let her weakness diminish your strength. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me, but I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. You can trust me, father. No matter what. I know you will never disappoint me, Nebula. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. It would be an honor, Father. We shall see how things go on Phalion. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he is not worth dying over. Nebula. Father.
If you want to gain the honor you desire, kill Gamora. <gasps> if you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over! She showed me your last mission together. I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval. Of course, you interrupted us. This is between you and me. Like you haven't been telling him your side of the story. He came to me because he was sick of hearing about oh. it from you. She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah, I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah. Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Daniel said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. Oh, yeah. She really made it better. Instead, I ended up suffering. I saved your life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm...
pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. Peter, no offense. But you're being an idiot. I want you out of my life! For good. Well, at least we're on the same page about that. Good! Good! I can't believe you just said you wanted me out of your life! You agreed with me! I did, but I wouldn't have said you it! You made it very, very clear! Even if you haven't spoken the actual Oh yeah, words. you're really good at reading between the lines, especially when it comes to me. Well, I have to fill in the blanks, don't I? We've been a little out of touch since you killed me! Guys, stop. Family always works itself out. That's the beauty of having one. Do you think... Do you think we should maybe... try? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. Yes, this is really happening. Well, it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. Not sure if this will all work out, but I'm hopeful. Uh, what are you... What? Oh, was that a dagger? Was it... What do you got, a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. So such sadness. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? Why, why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh god. That little box brings you so much sorrow. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past. Not living here, in the now. Experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Well... It's hard to let go of the past. It makes you who you are. I can see that. But I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. <laughs> 